Even with a price increase, the Galaxy S24 Ultra proves its worth as one of the best phones, setting new records for a flagship phone in key areas such as battery life, screen brightness, and processing performance. Add to that the slew of helpful Galaxy AI features packaged with the phone, and it's a powerhouse that will actually save you on time. Over the years, I have been less concerned about the resolution of a flagship's display, mainly because today's QHD Plus resolution is more than adequate. That's exactly what the Galaxy S24 Ultra is packing, a 6.8-inch QHD Plus Dynamic AMOLED 2X display that is rich in detail, offers outstanding viewing angles and vibrant colors that makes YouTube trailers like Furiosa jump out at me as I watch it. But of course, all that wouldn't mean much if the new doesn't beat its predecessor in the brightness department. Samsung's no different with the Galaxy S24 Ultra, which the company claims to have a rated brightness of 2600 nits. I am never one to believe the hype because these ratings often don't reflect their true to life behavior, which is why I place more emphasis on our actual testing. This is where it gets interesting because the Galaxy S23 Ultra reached a peak brightness output of 1225 nits in our display benchmark testing. It's an improvement to 1353 nits with the Galaxy S24 Ultra in our testing when displaying HDR content. That's fantastic and I didn't have any issue watching YouTube clips or playing my mobile games outside with direct sunlight beating down on me. Samsung kept the S24 Ultra's display refresh rate to 1 to 120 Hz, which is what I expect from a flagship today. Still, Samsung missed an opportunity to increase that refresh rate to perhaps 144 Hz to further differentiate itself. Without question, the biggest controversy circling the Galaxy S24 Ultra centers around Samsung's decision to ditch the 10x optical zoom camera of the S23 Ultra for a 5x optical one. That one key spec will cause people to think the new camera setup is technically inferior, but bear in mind that Samsung trades in the optical range for a higher resolution sensor, a 50 megapixel sensor instead of a 10 megapixel one to be specific. The Galaxy S24 Ultra remains a formidable camera phone consisting of a main 200 megapixel camera boosting 60% larger pixels, a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 10 megapixel telephoto lens with a 3x optical zoom, and that new 50 megapixel telephoto camera with a 5x optical zoom we mentioned above. That camera can still offer 10x zooms by taking a picture and then zooming in as the resolution drops to 12 megapixel. Samsung says that this approach on the S24 Ultra can deliver the same optical quality performance as its predecessor, which doesn't surprise me. We have seen this executed on other phones with excellent zooming results like iPhone 15's 2x telephoto zoom. Before I detail the new telephoto camera and whether Samsung made the wrong decision, Decision, I will explain how the phone other cameras perform under different situations along with side-by-side -side comparisons against the S23 Ultra and iPhone 15 Pro Max. Starting with the main camera, I can't see much change over the S23 Ultra. Details are plentiful, colors are vivid, and the S24 Ultra's HDR performance does nicely to even out the highlights and shadows. I'm perfectly fine with these results, but in the back of my mind, I was hoping for a wider separation from last year's model. Compared to the iPhone 15 Pro Max, it comes down to personal preference. In the short of the outside auto forum, the iPhone's HDR performance is at peak display when I look how the wooden panels of the front doors pop up out more. The S24 Ultra also appears to have a colder color temperature as well. Here are some camera samples and you can see it.
There is a lot to say about how Samsung's approach to artificial intelligence with the Galaxy S24 Ultra. From my experience, the Galaxy AI capabilities are fairly intuitive to use and save me a lot of time exactly what AI is supposed to do for us. Features such as circle to search, generative edit, instant slow-mo, and note assist all feel polished, while others such as live translate could benefit from more machine learning. Regardless, the Galaxy S24 Ultra proves that AI is here for the long haul. Yet, I am a little disappointed that the Galaxy S24 Ultra camera performance doesn't have the same dramatic improvement I have seen from past updates. Samsung's choice to drop the 10x optical camera for a 5x1 is the most glaring and controversial change. A downgrade I hope doesn't happen ever again. But despite this, the S24 Ultra has smart improvements to its processing power and battery life, two key areas I look at with any phone. The Galaxy S24 Ultra is not just a better, it sets the benchmark for all other phone releases in 2024. Knowing that, the increase in price to US$1299 does complicate matters a bit, given that I feel the majority of its AI features are practical, combined with its performance and battery gains, it's still worth getting the Galaxy S24 Ultra if you are in the market for a super phone or upgrading from a handset that's a few years older. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.